I'm Jason Bell. I'm the regional meat coordinator for Whole Foods Market for the Mid-Atlantic region. I uh, cover 38 states from middle New Jersey down to Virginia and all the way over to Kentucky. I've uh, been with Whole Foods for the last 15 years now, uh, cutting meat. I uh, started up in Boston, 1995, worked my way down here to the Mid-Atlantic. So uh, it's a good long history, great company to work for, and uh, I really believe in the practices and the things we do here at Whole Foods Market. Uh, one of the things we're going to do today, we're going to talk a little bit about dry-aged beef, uh, a little bit about the New York strip here that I have under me. Um, Whole Foods is one of the only uh, companies that actually does dry aging in-house. We do this whole program for the last 10 years. Um, today this is a New York strip. What we do is we take the beef, which has a full fat cover, a full bone cover here, as you'll see on the back side, um, and we age it for a minimum of 14, preferably 21 days, and up to 28 days. This particular cut here is a very popular steak, of course, the New York strip. Um, as you can see, we have a whole tagging system in-house here, so we know exactly when the beef goes in and when we need to bring it up. With that being said, I'll show you today how to break this down real quick. I'll talk a little bit about some of the standards we have here at Whole Foods Market. So of course, take the tag out. Real simple process here. If you look at the back side, we've got some bones here that we've got to nick, nick off on the saw. These flutter bones will allow us to push these bones off and make nice, thick, delicious steaks. steakhouses. That's where you're going to find it the most. Um, we felt like here at Whole Foods, why couldn't we do it if a steakhouse could do it? So we decided to invest in some dry age cases. These cases are humidity controlled, uh, atmosphere controlled steak cases that allow us to age it directly um, in front of the customer. And we can really showcase where we separate ourselves from the competition. So um, what I'm going to do here is just take off these backbones real quick. Because it is dry, you've got to be really careful when you cut something like this because the knife can get a little loose on you. Pop these pin bones right back here. Make this a fully boneless steak. You know, popular steak, of course, nowadays is a bone-in New York strip steak. We need to be careful with that because of the aging process. It's much better to actually take all the bones off so that you have a boneless steak here. Two ways you can do it if you look at the back here, clean off the back. You can pop all these bones out individually, which is probably the fastest way. Um, you know, one thing to remember here is we're not really looking for speed, we're looking for quality because this is one of the top line steaks that we're going to have in our kids. standards, our raising standards. Um, one of the most important things is, is every single farm that's in our system, we actually audit our farms for the animal welfare aspect. Something that we just really rolled out in our company is the, is the animal welfare five-step rating. This is raised by, this is a program that designed by the uh, Global Animal Partnership, which is an independent third-party company. We're just recognizing their particular standards in our stores. to take a look at how the animal is raised, great on farm, um, of course making really close, paying close attention to how the farmers are, are treating all of their animals on their farm. What we're doing here is just finishing off, taking these flutter bones off from the bottom here of the loin so that we can get to our nice, easy to cut New York strip today. So what you're going to do here, because a strip is not always an even piece of meat when it's broken off from the animal, you have to just simply square it up real quick. This is going to actually be waste because of the high bacterial content, so that's you're not going to really be able to do anything with it. So here at Whole Foods, we like to cut our steaks about an inch, inch and a quarter. It's a design steak. With dry age, we like to go a little bit thicker because it is a much better steak. You want to have a real nice thick steak here. So we'll go about an inch and a half, inch and three quarters. And what else you got to do is just square up your fat real quick. Use about a quarter inch trim here at Whole Foods. About an eighth to a quarter, depending on the steak. You want to have it nice and clean. That's what your end result's going to be. So what we started with a nice black 
piece, as you'll still see here on the end, creates a nice, red, bright, delicious steak. This is prime, like I said earlier. It's going to cook up really good. It's going to have a much nuttier, richer flavor. Um, it's going to be able to cook a little bit quicker than your regular steak that's going to still have blood in it. So um, this, is, this is something that's available exclusively at Whole Foods. You know, in, in some of our locations, we'll have prime, but we'll have either choice grade or higher um, available daily. That's it. Thank you.